Right, so, different video. Uh, got my entire shoe collection here. Got around 15 pairs. Uh, got a few from like the graveyard, which I've just worn to death. So yeah, we're gonna go through them all. Um, they're mostly Air Maxes, because um, I'm, I'm based in the UK, and there's literally Air Maxes that are worn by almost everyone. Um, compared to like the US, which is like more of Jordans and just other bits and pieces. Jordans are worn in the UK, but not as much as Air Maxes. They're just, there's got a cult behind them in the UK. There's no real easy way to do it. Um, I'll pick up the shoe, show you. Um, and if I remember the name, I think I know, remember the names of all of them and the colorways, but correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below your favorite one. And also make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new here. Also press the bell notification to get notified when I post a new video. But yeah, let's get into it. Starting off strong, got the MX-98 um, Gundams, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, just an OG colorway. This is from the 2018 release of the 20th anniversary. Um, but yeah, this is probably, I think we've only got three pairs here, which I've actually bought brand new from Nike. And this is one of them. And yeah, just an awesome shoe. One of the best silhouettes going. Next, got one more 98, which is the, I think this is a 2014 release. And I just call these Vault Greens, but this is probably my favorite colorway of them. These two are literally the best colorways going. So sick. I love Vault Green stuff. I'm just waiting on the TN3s in the Vault Green colorway to come out. I think they're gonna come out in the next like two or three months, hopefully. But yeah, awesome colorway. And I've worn these ones to death. They're like so faded. And I got these ones for a steal. I think they got these for 90 pound off some Facebook group. And like they go for good money now in good condition, but these are a bit beat. Next couple of pairs, they're 360s, and yeah, I've got really bad luck with 360 um, bubbles, so I try and wear them with care. Uh, first one, lace is undone, but let me undo it. There, I'm not sure what the actual colorway is, but it's just like some white and black 360, basically. Really cool, from 07, I think, but I have a feeling that one of these has air leakage in. I can't remember which one it is, but I think they're pretty squashy, one of them is, when I use them um, but I think I got these off eBay for like 30 40 pounds I can't quite remember where I got them from but I have worn them quite a lot but nowadays I just wear them with care because 360 soles or 360 bubbles are just bad news I think most 360s are from around like 07 to like 010 ish 08 ish I'm not too sure um, but that's like near the borderline of being unwearable and them being like all caged they're just really sort of not the most reliable of air bubbles. Um, but yeah, I wear them with care a lot, and I've worn these ones quite a lot, but I don't wear them as much anymore. Next pair, you don't see these a lot. Um, they're Air Max 360 TN hybrids, and this is the Hyper Blue colorway. Really cool, I think they're from 08. Yeah, 08, and they're hard, really hard to find nowadays, and they go for some good money. But I think my pair is, Seen, seen better days because they've got they've got like this weird material on the toe cap which is like you can literally make marks of it and it's starting to sort of tear if you can see it there in the light but I wear these ones with care again and they're still wearable but I need to get them sorted out basically but awesome pair and they go for good money because they're like gold dust nowadays because they're from 08 and they're just really hard to find one more pair of 360s this is the OG colorway um, but this is like the pair that I've worn to death and they have got a hole in the air bubble. But I got this off eBay for like, I think 15 pounds because they had air leakage. And you can see it like just there. And I managed to fix them up and I wore them for like a good six months, but they're just properly dead now. The uppers are still perfectly fine, but really cool shoe. And this is the OG colorway. I do need to, I do need to find another pair, but I just don't trust 360s anymore. Really cool. Next pair. Air Max 180s, um, bit of a weird silhouette, not really my sort of thing, um, but I wear these around the house probably most of the time, just because they're so cushioned. Um, it's literally like putting your foot in a, into a pillow. But really comfy, they're from 06, so they're right on the borderline of being wearable and or just giving up on me. But luckily this pair has held in and I wear them literally almost every day, just around the house, doing bits and bobs. I think I got these off eBay again, actually for like, I think it was 17 pounds, 70 pounds, which is a bargain. And they're in my size exactly, UK 11. 
moving on, got my only other pair of TNs. Um, these are from 2013, I think. Yeah, 2013. And I got them because they're like vault green on the top. I think they're called like a cyber blue colorway. I'm not too sure, but got them for decent price, I think. I think it was around 100 off Depop. Um, still with the box and they're pretty much brand new. I wear them every now and then. Um, mostly I'm going to keep them for the summertime. That's when I'm probably going to bang them out. But yeah, that's it for all my TNs. I've literally got like two pairs. I've got more like TN t-shirts and like hats than shoes. I'll probably show that in another video. But I don't, for me personally, I don't find that I suit the TNs as much as other silhouettes or shoes that I've got. I probably like more like the wider stuff, like the 98s. But yeah, that's it for the TNs. The next two pairs, I don't know too much about, but I think they're 20th anniversary retros and they're the MX96, so they're both from 2016. This pair is super beat up. I bought these from, I think it was the basement, probably years ago. Um, bought them for 15 pounds and they were like super beat, worse than this condition. And I thought I'd like clean them up and everything because they are size UK 9.5 and I'm a UK 11. But when I was cleaning them, I took the insoles out to clean them and I decided to put my foot in them, try them on, and they actually fit me believe it or not. Um, so it's like a size and a half too small for my sh for my foot. Um, but yeah, they fit me and I've literally worn them like three or four days in a row and my feet have been fine. And I am a UK 11, that is my actual size. But these fit me for some reason. I think it's because they're like quite wide. But yeah, um, paid 15 pounds for them. They are literally beaters, um, wear them like festivals, concerts, car boots every now and then. Um, but yeah, I got them for a stupid bargain, but like they are, I just dropped one, but they are super beat there. I did give them a proper deep clean when I got them. And then the next pair, those are nine, those are MX96 um, IIXX. I'm not too sure about that, if that's meant to be a number or the actual letters. But these are MX96 XX, I think. Uh, I've got the box over there. I got these ones because they're like vault green. Um, I got them for like 70, 70 or 80, I think. And they went, I think they went under the radar quite a lot in 2016 because there's, there's not that many pairs about. I think when these were stocked, I don't think they got that many numbers. Um, they don't, I don't think they produced that many of them. Um, but I wouldn't say they're rare, but like they're hard to find, but not many people actually want them, I think. I haven't actually worn these out yet. Uh, I'm waiting for summer time. They're a bit overexposed. Let me see. I'll show you like the details of them. But they're quite a loud silhouette, um, but really cool. These are they're quite thin as well. So they're not too good for my foot, but I'm gonna save them for summer and bang them out then. But yeah, really cool shoe. I haven't worn them yet. The only one here that I haven't worn. So yeah, still waiting to christen these ones. These next few pairs, uh, I all found at Car Boots, and yeah, I wear them every now and then. Uh, not as much as I do with my other pairs. First pair, 2010 Air Force Ones. Um, nothing too crazy about them. They've just got the navy uppers and the gum soles. They're pretty beat up, you can see. I think I paid a fiver on them, and I wear them every now and then. Next pair, these are actually fake, I'm pretty sure, but they're MX LTDs and they're just super beat up. They weren't when I got them, but just, I think I wore them to like a concert or something and they got absolutely trashed. Um, what I didn't know is like LTDs are like probably, they're up there with like one of the most faked Air Maxes from the early 2000s. I didn't know this, but I've had a few people tell me. And yeah, this is a really cool colorway if they were real. It's like a snake skin, but they're just literally, that, that was from like one concert. They just got trashed. But I used to wear these quite a lot, but not anymore. I think I paid like a 10 on them, but I got a good enough, I got loads of wear out of them. And then the final pair is a pair of Nike Shocks. I showed these a few videos ago. They're from 0, 04, and they're just like, just a cool colorway. I don't wear these, I hardly wear these ones actually. I don't think I've worn them out, maybe around the house a bit. Um, but yeah, I think I paid probably like, I think it was a five or something like that. I'm not too sure, but. Just a cool colorway, and they are my size, exactly, UK 11. A few more pairs, uh, I've got my Spiridons. These are my old ones that I wore loads. Uh, these are the 2016 release, 
and I wore them to death. They're like basically flat here. Um, but I think like a part of the sole somewhere, I think it's over here. Yeah, that happened. And then if you get water in Spiridons, they literally like squeak uh, with every footstep. So I've got rid of them ones. Here's my 06 pair, um, much better. This one, not, not too good, but I just literally need to take this off. It's overexposed. I literally need to take this black bit off, strip it down and then re, uh, re glue it. This one's all right, but I paid, I didn't pay too much on these, but they usually go for like around like 100 to like 150, depending on if they got the box and like the insoles and all that old stuff. But I think I paid around 100-ish for these. I can't quite remember, it's like a year or two ago. But I wore these a good, good amount and then that happens, but I just need to re-glue it basically, so it's nothing too major. But just a really cool shoe and probably one of my favourite and most comfy Nike shoes. Similar to the Spiridon in terms of silhouette and the sole, it's a bit overexposed, but you can see the sole there. Uh, they're called Air Zoom Alphas I think, I literally just looked at the box but I can't quite remember, it's just gone from my memory. But yeah, I got these around Christmas time, I got them in sale for around 50 quid and yeah, I wear them quite regularly um, here and there and yeah, they just got the vault green and I just like them basically. Nothing too crazy, but just a cool essential, well not essential, just a cool pair to have. I've got four pairs of shoes left to show you. First one, Air Max 97. They're really beat up because these are my beaters at the moment. Uh, wear them to like carpet and everything, but 97, uh, they had a re-release in 2016. Yeah, 2016. They were going, they had like a really limited um, release at the start of it and they were going for like 250 like per pair but now you, you can get these everywhere. They're all over JD. Uh, everyone in the UK literally wears them. Everyone, literally. Um, and there's so many different new colorways, but this is the OG one, Silver Bullet. This is literally, yeah, this is my first pair of Air Maxes actually. Got them in 2016. Um, got them brand new from Nike, like literally like the one of like three pairs that I've actually bought from Nike. And yeah, they're literally like Air Forces. Everyone wears them and they just go over everything. Just a simple and essential shoe for everyone. Loads of people have them. These last three shoes are all bangers. Um, I try not to wear them too much because I want to preserve them as much as I can. I uh, don't even wear those ones. These ones are still dead stock. First pair, Nike Basement Dunks from 2017, I think it was, when they released. Uh, I think they were only released in London. I didn't get them for retail. I think I bought them maybe half a year or a year after they were released and I don't wear them as much as I should do. It's more the story behind them that I like. Uh, they're made by a Facebook group, uh, The Basement. I've been in The Basement since like 2015, 2016, I think. And that's what got me into streetwear, clothing, shoes, everything basically. And yeah, just a cool shoe. I think it's made out of nine different materials and it's just got loads of little different small details. Like on the tongue, I think it's got basement there, if you can see in the light, and it says, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this bit. Real people do real things. Just cool little details, and I'm not sure what they go for at the moment, because I don't even know how many released. They didn't actually say, but it was, the quantities were really small, basically, because it was only a London in-store, London release. There was nothing online or anything like that. But yeah, just a cool shoe, and I try not to wear them too much, but every now and then I just rock them. Don't know why I say rock them, that's so cringy. But yeah, cool shoe. Right, next shoe, the creme de la creme of Air Maxes. Air Max TL 2.5, awesome shoe. Um, really hyped at the moment. Last probably year, year and a half, two years. Um, they've been really sought after. And they go for good money. And yeah, this is my pair. Um, I did have a white pair, but I traded them for like those TN 360 hybrids. But yeah, this is my pair in the, I think that's, I think it's be a royal blue that colorway. I really want the vault green. There's a like there's a vault green and there's a purple colorway. There's like a red one, red and gray. I really want the vault green colorway. I think I've seen the like, slow tie wearing them and one other time I've seen them about but I've never seen them for sale. But yeah, these are just awesome awesome silhouette. Just sit so cool. Uh, I think these I'm not sure why these are so hyped. I think it's the fact that they sort of sim they're similar to 97s what I just showed you but they're different, so they're more, they're harder to find and less people have them. 
that's what people like these days. Exclusivity, but yeah, just a mad pair. Air Max TL 2.5s, just really hard to find at the moment. I think they're from 2007, 2008, yeah, 2008. Just a sick pair. That is it for all the shoes in my current rotation that I wear most of the time. Uh, three of them were like unwearable ones which had the holes in them or I just ruined them. I have one more pair which is my size but I'm sort of just keeping it, keeping them as, a, as an investment for the moment. Um, I want to try and keep them for like two years, completely dead stock. But it is the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. I think I have showed these in a video a while ago because I remember being at a car boot, I went to the first car boot and I had my timer on, entered the draw and then went to the next car boot and it said you paid Nike like 150 is it, I think for these or something like that, around that for Jordan Price and then yeah, I won the raffle on sneakers, but unfortunately they're in my size so do I wear them, do I not, but I'm not really a Jordan head, I'm just into my Air Maxes and yeah, Air Maxes basically. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep these as an investment and see how much they can go for in like maybe a year or two. See how it goes, really. So that is it for my entire shoe collection, what I wear most of the time. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. As always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Also, press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. I'm um, not too sure if there's going to be a video next weekend, it depends on the weather and if I can get out to um, have a look and try and find some clothes. Um, but if not, it'll be in the coming weeks that I'll be able to start getting out and start unloading loads of car boot videos when the weather starts to cheer up. Um, but yeah, also follow my Instagram and my Depot down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan Spines, R-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, peace.